Great curb appeal, check. Grand entrance with a crazy staircase, check. Huge lot with a swimming pool, putting green, tennis court, and guest house, check. These are just some of the features in Mark Wahlberg's insane $80 million mansion that he's trying to sell in Beverly Hills. Now, it's no secret that Mark Wahlberg is a total baller. In fact, he's one of the richest actors in Hollywood with a net worth of around $400 million. But I never realized this, he actually has a pretty expensive taste in real estate. Mark's real estate portfolio consists of just a couple of properties valued in total at over a hundred million dollars. And one of those properties is up for sale. It's been listed for around eight months. And unfortunately, like you saw in the title of this video, he's been having a little bit of a hard time selling the place. This property is so over the top, guys. I'm actually kind of surprised that it's not selling. Today, let's check out the listing together, and we'll also look at the super exclusive neighborhood that Mark has moved his family out to in Las Vegas. Okay, so Mark Wahlberg's old house is located at 71 Beverly Park Lane. It's in a super private and exclusive gated community called Beverly Park, and the house is sitting on 6.2 acres right up against a mountain, so he has a ton of space and privacy in basically every direction. Now zooming out a bit, Beverly Park is actually pretty big. It's spread out over the west side of Franklin Canyon Park in Beverly Hills, California. But even though this neighborhood takes up a lot of land, there's actually only about 80 homes in here. Like I said, it's a gated community, and in here they've got celebrity residents like Sylvester Stallone, Lisa Vanderpump, Eddie Murphy, Magic Johnson, Faith Hill, Samuel Jackson, and of course, Mark Wahlberg. What's crazy is that while the rest of LA is actually trying to limit the size of new mansions that are being built, Beverly Park's HOA mandates that home sizes must be a minimum of 5,000 square feet. So yes, if you buy a plot of land in Beverly Park and you plan to build your dream house there, you're literally not allowed to build that house any smaller than 5,000 square feet. Awesome. Now, when we look at Beverly Park here on Zillow, there's only a couple of homes that are for sale. Mark Wahlberg's is up here at the top and it's the most expensive by far at about 80 million bucks. Down here, we have a few more in that 20 to 30 million dollar price range. Although I should mention that these other houses are much smaller than Mark's. And then this $23.9 million property is basically right next to his house, but this is actually just a dirt lot and it's a pretty small lot too. It's only 1.8 acres. So just looking at the Zillow listing here for Mark's property, we know the price is $79,500,000. It's a 12 bedroom, 20 bathroom and it's got about 30,500 square feet. Down here, the specs show us that the home was built in 2014. There's a $3,000 per month HOA fee, and the house is sitting on about six acres. So I think they chose a great cover listing for the property. It kind of shows all the bells and whistles in one place, like we were talking about at the start of the video. You've got the putting green, then the tennis court, then the guest house, then that swimming pool, and then the massive main house in the back. This is what you see when you're driving up to the property on the front side of it. So they've got this nice like cobblestone paver driveway and a fountain in the center. When you walk through the front door, you're greeted with this crazy staircase that kind of winds up either direction. It's like something that you would see in a movie. These pictures aren't labeled, but I'm pretty sure that this is the main living room, and I'm not sure if this is his furniture or if this is staging, but it doesn't look like this room ever gets used. The house has this like two-story library lounge room that's basically just wood everywhere on the floors, the walls, the ceilings, everything. Here's the dining room. Of course, it seats a ton of people. There's a fireplace off the dining room table, huge chandelier in the middle, and then a pretty wild wallpaper on all the walls. Next up, we've got the kitchen. So double islands, huge pennants hanging from the ceiling, all that coffered detail on the ceiling, which is really nice, and then the wood flooring throughout. This, I'm guessing, is the mat Master suite. I'm sure this room is about the same size as my house. This room is massive. And then as I scroll through these next couple of photos, this is all the master bathroom. So I'm guessing this first one is the her side of the bathroom. This one looks like her closet. It's got two islands and its own patio. Then we get into a much more masculine vibe. So I'm assuming this is his bathroom. And here's another shot of that same bathroom that has its own shower, tub, and toilet. Then last is the his closet. So this is probably where Mark stored all of his stuff. You can see in the back, he's got a pretty serious shoe collection. We'll fast forward a couple of photos. Of course, he's got a gym in this property. There's a movie theater that is done really nice. We've got a wine cellar with a nice seating area and storage for probably a thousand bottles of wine. Then out back, this is the view that 
that you see if you're standing in the backyard and looking out towards the guest house, pretty private. Then here's a close up of the swimming pool. And then last they wrap it up with this drone shot, but this time looking at the front side of the house, this is seriously an amazing property. So moving on to that big price reduction that just happened on this place. Mark Wahlberg originally listed this house for sale back in April for $87,500,000. And after around eight months of not being able to sell it, he just relisted with a new agent and slashed the price by $8 million to be priced just under 80 million bucks. Now, a 10% price reduction in this market in reality isn't all that crazy or unusual, but no matter what way you spin it, an $8 million price cut is a massive discount. If we go back to the price history, you can see that Mark bought this place back in 2009 for $8.25 million, but back then it was just a lot, so he went on to build his massive estate there after he bought it. It costs anywhere from $400 per square foot up to $1,000 per square foot to build a brand new house in Beverly Hills. The final price, of course, will just depend on what features and amenities you're putting in the house. That tells me that even though he's had to drop the price by $8 million, he still has plenty of room to make money if he sells it for anywhere close to his asking price. If you're wondering why Mark would want to give up this beautiful estate in a private community in Beverly Hills, let's get into that next. So about four months ago, he dropped almost $16 million on a two and a half acre parcel of land inside a gated community in Las Vegas to build another dream home. And being the baller that he is, he spent another 15 million bucks on a 7,300 square foot home in the same community for his family to live in while he builds his dream home on that other lot. So Mark Wahlberg and his family have relocated to Vegas probably for tax reasons, and they've dropped $30 million in this community already, and that doesn't even include the construction of their new home. The area they bought into is called Summit Club, which is a super private and exclusive community in the neighborhood of Summerlin in Las Vegas. Summerlin itself is massive, and it's been developed pretty heavily over the past 30 years with over 150 parks, over 20 public and private schools, and a bunch of nice places to live. But Summit Club, is a special and unique pocket within Summerlin. It's about 18 miles from the Las Vegas Strip, and the community has around 250 homes spanning 555 acres. This Summit Club neighborhood is legit. It's loaded with stuff to do. They've got golf, rock climbing, and world-class restaurants. By the way, I'm starting to notice a theme here. These super high-end neighborhoods are starting to become so much more than just a neighborhood. The developers are basically just trying to load them up with all of these other activities to do. Pretty cool if you ask me. Now looking at the price details around the Summit Club, this is definitely the ritziest pocket of town. What's crazy to me as somebody who lives in Phoenix, which is a pretty similar market to Las Vegas, is that there are any homes that are hitting this 20 plus million dollar price point. But with people like Mark Wahlberg and others fleeing California with big budgets, they just keep pushing prices up in these markets that used to be way more affordable. Most of us are familiar with Mark Wahlberg as being one of the most well-known male actors of our generation. Some people know him from back in the early 1990s when he formed the rap group Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. And others know him nowadays from his successful fast food chain, The Wahlburgers, that has expanded to around 50 locations across the United States. But it's cool to see that Mark has a taste for luxury real estate as well. I am a big believer that these celebrities and high net worth people should be parking a significant amount of their net worths in real estate if they want to build and protect their fortune. Vegas might seem like an unlikely place for celebrities to flock as they migrate out of California, but something tells me we are going to see more and more stories just like this in the coming years. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit the thumbs up button or leave a comment down below before you go. I'll see you next time.